Hi everyone, I am Karan and welcome to Karan's Gyan. Today I'm going to talk about a very very hot topic. This hot topic is the optical fiber industry of India. As you know, our Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi, he came out with the news that over 6 lakh villages will be connected with optical fiber in the next 1000 days. And because of this announcement, a lot of companies that provide optical fibers they hit upper circuits and many of them increased as much as 10 to 15 percent yesterday in one day however i would tell you this is just the tip of the iceberg it is expected that the indian optical fiber industry which is valued at about 1050 million dollars right now or 1.05 billion dollars right now this industry this billion dollar industry would double in the next five years that means this industry would grow to a size of 2.1 billion dollars by 2025 giving you a great return of 19.7 percent compounded annually and trust me looking at these returns i would say with surety that this is one of the leading industries in india so looking at the size of the indian optical uh, fiber industry let us look at the shares that uh, are in this industry so having a look at uh, shares that are in this industry they are polycab india limited sterlite technologies limited phenolex cables vindhya telelinks limited hindustan futuristic communication and tejas networks but before discussing the key players and looking at shares that you need to invest in i would discuss all of them i would discuss each and every share in detail and i would recommend what share you should buy in order to get maximized returns but before that we need to understand a little more about this industry because there's no point in getting to know the shares that are in this industry we need to do a thorough analysis of this industry understand what this industry is about and then invest our money so that we are responsible investors and this is my mantra as i always have been sharing it with you be responsible investors so what is optical fiber now when you're using internet you're not getting internet services out of thin hair uh, thin air there's a there's a backbone there's an internet backbone and this internet ba backbone is basically filled with cables and as you can see you can see a world map here and you can see all these lines so most of the data that you are getting is through the undersea cables around the world for example if you're watching my video via youtube services youtube uh, would have a server somewhere in the us so you're getting data from us via optical fiber so you can see these fibers coming via us going to europe and coming via europe uh, through the gulf coming to india so the data that you're receiving right now from my youtube video it is coming via the youtube servers in the us all over from Europe, Middle East and India and this is a remarkable journey the data is taking place and since you are getting this data really soon it is because of optical fiber so optical fibers are cables that transmit information or transmit data at the speed of light and uh, earlier our country uses copper based uh, cable so as of now optical fiber cable is a new uh, industry in India uh, about 50 to 60 percent of the cables that are being used in India in the network infrastructure of the company they are still copper based cables and they're not optical fiber cables uh, optical fiber cables look something like this there's a plastic coating there's some cladding and there's a core and the core is generally made up of uh, either glass or plastic uh, generally it's made of glass uh, glass when it comes under uh, undersea cable and sometimes it is made of plastic when uh, companies want to manufacture uh, optical fiber cables at lower prices so let me give you a comparison of optical fiber cable and copper fiber cable like i said 50 to 60 percent of india's network infrastructure is still based on copper cables and it's yet to transition into optical fiber cable so let us have an analysis between both these cables so the bandwidth or i mean speed the speed of optical fiber cable is up to 50 terabits per second so it is not terabyte it is terabit uh, however for copper fiber cables it is maximum the speed can reach up to 10 megabits per second
if i look at the life the life of optical fiber cable is uh, around 30 to 50 years whereas copper uh, fiber cables can only last five years optical fiber cables use lesser energy about five watts per user annually whereas copper fiber cable about 10 watts per user annually so optical fiber uh, network uh, cables you know use less energy however if i look at the price tag the optical fiber cable is three times more expensive than copper fiber table uh, cables however uh, if i look at five to ten years from now optical fiber cables were about 50 to 60 times more expensive than copper fiber cables that's why indian infrastructure still comprises of copper fiber cable because at that time when the indian it infrastructure was being set up uh, indian government basically could not afford optical fiber cable i'm talking about the time when bsnl came out with broadband all right and when bsnl used to be the king of providing internet services much before the private players such as airtel that came into this industry so uh, let us understand the scope of optical fiber network so optical fiber network is gonna double in the next five years because of these five things one thing is widespread implementation of 5g uh, like i discussed in one of my videos before i uh, i said that for 5g a lot of towers have to have optical fiber connection in order to provide the best speed you can have my link in the description moreover a lot of people are working from home a lot of people require higher internet speeds and our data needs are evolving we want movies to be downloaded faster we want one hour movies to be downloaded in five to ten minutes and we are using more and more data every day so we want faster data network connection so hence increase in fiber to home connectivity next is emergence of internet of things so emergence of internet of things and uh, implementation of 5g go hand in hand when 5g comes in the next three to four years internet of things is gonna boom this industry like anything internet of things is optical fiber savvy so for establishing internet of things you need to have a lot of optical fiber network next is rise in uh, optical fiber investments so as you know uh, india is a it hub and a lot of companies they want more uh, optical fiber based it infrastructure and are completely switching away from copper based fibers to optical fiber investment uh, to optical fiber cables if i look at uh, the next point which is the key driver for optical fiber is like i said uh, in the last five years optical fiber uh, cables cost has dropped dramatically like in the times of bsnl uh, optical fiber cables were as much as 50 times more expensive than copper fiber cables but as of now it is just three times more expensive than copper fiber cable and looking at its bandwidth looking at its life and looking at its energy it is more uh, beneficial for corporations to use optical fiber cables than copper fiber cables now uh, a key market players like i discussed again i'll discuss again uh, polycab uh, india limited sterlite technologies phenolex cables vindya telelinks hindustan futuristic communication and uh, tejas networks having a look at uh, companies i would recommend three shares these three shares are polycab sterlite phenolex cables and let us understand why am i uh, giving recommendation in these three shares number one is the market capitalization so they have got a good market capitalization which make them stable companies polycab leads the chart with 13500 crores of market capitalization it is valued higher than the rest of the companies with the highest price to earning and with the highest price to book value so polycab here is a good quality stock but it is most expensive stock if i look at valuation amongst its peers mutual fund holdings is also lower uh, in the group uh, if i look at sterlite technologies i would recommend sterlite technologies and phenolex cables more than polycap in fact sterlite technologies is my personal favorite if i look at market capitalization it's it has a 6000 crore capitalization price to book value is fairly lower than polycab price to earnings is also lower than polycab good mutual fund holdings about 4.85 percent and the quality is good 
if i look at phenolex cables 4500 crores it is undervalued compared to the other two polycab and sterlite technologies 11.14 percent price to 11.14 price to earning 1.59 price to book and excellent mutual fund holdings in fact the highest of the lot about 20 percent mutual fund holdings and uh, good in quality talking about hindustan futuristic communication uh, Hindustan Futuristic Communication is a good share. Uh, however, its market capitalization is comparatively lower than these three. However, if you want to take risk and if you have considerable holdings and sterile technologies and you want to take uh, exposure in Hindustan Futuristic because you are interested in the industry of uh, optical fiber cables, uh, you should acquire uh, HFCL uh, market capitalization about 2100 crores price to earning 9.32 price to book 1.47 the lowest mutual fund holdings and the quality is average Vindya Telelinks Vindya Telelinks is actually an MP Billa group uh, company MP Billa group has a variety of companies uh, if I talk about uh, in the industry of optical fiber uh, Vindya Tele Links, it's a micro cap company, 900 crore market capitalization price to earning is uh, 3.89 so it's extremely cheap price to book value 0.38 and mutual fund holding of 8.8% and it is average uh, because of its extremely low market capitalization Tejas Networks, it is a loss making company market capitalization of about 600 crores price to book value of 0.6 and really good mutual fund holdings 14.75% and average quality however this is loss making company it is the only loss making company in this industry out of the other five companies that have showed you so try to avoid Tejas networks if you want exposure and optical fiber uh, network cable companies uh, so my recommendations again Sterlite Technologies I like Sterlite Technologies and Hindustan Futuristic Communication if you want to take more risk so guys uh, this is my take on optical fiber industry of India and uh, these are the shares that I would recommend you. So I hope you like my video and thank you very much.